authorities have banned from airplay, a song deemed offensive to women. Kenya Film Classification Board blacklisted has, with immediate effect banned Dakataku a song by Alvin aka Alvindo produced by the Fast Cash Music Group. KFCBC Ezekiel Mucha described the song as primitive and abusive to our sensibilities as a people and cannot be condoned. The song Dakataka is characterized by crude language that objectifies women and glorifies hurting them as normal reaction to rejection of overtures by men, he said at a press conference held at the board offices in Nairobi Tuesday. He also noted with great concern that the song was never submitted to the board for classification in the first place. Moving forward, the song should not be performed live or broadcasted anywhere within the Republic of Kenya. No DJ should play the song either on a broadcast station or in any entertainment, read part of the statement. The board noted that there have been too many spousal deaths in the recent past and such kind of music and content has encouraged this kind of violence. Mutua pleaded with media houses to have a partnership with Kenyans and to block such music from their own judgment. Some of the artists sing such music to sound controversial and gain following upon which they make money, he noted saying this is a growing culture of demonic influence. As a result, Alvin has been summoned by the board and given a two-week ultimatum to appear before the board failure to which legal action will be taken against him. The artist will also risk revoking of his membership in any of the three content management organizations, CMOs, including the Music Copyright Society of Kenya, Kenya Association of Music Producers and Performing Rights Society of Kenya. Other than live performers, TV and radio, the restraint is extended to social media platforms as well. The board has instituted the takedown procedures of this song from all online platforms, read the statement. Explaining why it took the board four months to act on Dakataka that was released in January this year, Mutua said the board was scrupulous and followed the process allowed by the law to have a watertight case against such content. The board has urged artists and media houses to create and exhibit content that builds society. Art is the mirror of society but art must also set the right agenda by ensuring that content promotes moral responsibility at all times, read the statement adding that obscenity, gender violence and degradation of women must not be portrayed as a way of life. Many spousal killings and violence have been reported including a man who hacked his girlfriend to death in broad daylight in Eldred, an act that shocked the nation.